Brent, you come help me wherever you are. Brent Carr, come help me. Uh, I sure am glad that the Word of God says that you have not because you ask not. And there's things in this life and times in this life uh, when we call out on God. The Bible says this. It says one day the, the sea and the ocean was all stormy and Jesus was downstairs on the boat asleep. He was asleep. He was a, they were scared to death and Jesus was asleep. Jesus don't have that disease of worry like we do. And uh, them boys went down there and they shook him and woke the master up. And uh, Jesus went out there. Boy, I like this. Jesus went out on the stern of the boat. You, have, you ever been deep sea fishing and looked out at all the ocean and looked at all the water and how much bigger it is than us? But yet Jesus is so powerful that he looked at those waters and said, Shh, peace be still. And those waters went. <laughs> Only thing you need to know about that is this. The Bible ain't just a history book. The Bible ain't just a book about what Jesus did yesterday. But inside this room, there's hey, inside this room, there's people that walked in, and your life is a is a rocky ship. Your life is, is is on stormy waters. And I come to tell you tonight that Jesus can look at your life tonight and say, "Shh." Anybody in here need Jesus to say, "Shh," tonight? Listen to Brian as he sings. Your cries have awoken the master. Crossing the dark sea with Jesus, the disciples were getting concerned. The wind started violently blowing, oh, but he was asleep in the stern. Do you not care that we perish? We're helpless and we're so afraid. But then Jesus arose when they called him and said to them, where is your faith? Because you reign all night, you fell off with all your mind, child of your pride, thou wilt get the master. We know your voice, lift your head. It hits you without any warning. The storm of your life has begun. Seeing no hope in the distance. You're frightened with nowhere to run. Oh, by now your vessel is filling. And you're thinking that you'll surely drown. But you cried out for help from your Savior. And you know you can't give up now because you have. It hit you without any warning, and the storm of your life has begun. See no hope in your distance. You're frightened with nowhere to run. Oh, by now your vessel is filling, and you're thinking that you'll surely drown. But you cried out. And you know that you can't give up now 
This is Brother Mike and Judy Box, the members at Victory, where I'm from. And uh, I want Brother Mike to just tell you real quick what the Lord's done for them lately. The first part of November, the first part of November, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And about uh, the 24th of November, I was diagnosed. And uh, we went through it. The Lord was right there the whole time. Uh, she, she's as good as she's ever been, and I'm getting that way. God's been good. I want to give him the glory for everything he's done. They, my cancer doctor knew one thing, that she thought I had cancer, and she walked up to me on the 24th and said, said, said Mike, he got cancer. And I didn't see it coming. It took me totally by surprise. And I just, I said, well, if you took by surprise, I know somebody's not. <laughs> and I just, I just, just a couple of days later, they, they did a, I went to a, a, a biopsy, and the biopsy showed negative. And the PET scan, the PET scan showed, showed negative too. Then I went to a, a pulmonologist, and it was something that had been in my lung since I was born. And uh, I just needed to go through a valley I had never been before. God had been good to me, and I just had to give him all the glory. He still hears us when we cry out on him. He's a prayer answering God, ain't he? It don't matter how hard the problem is, God is a problem solving God. Brent, sing that sing second verse again. I would hit you without any warning And the storm of your life has begun You're seeing no hope in the distance You're riding with nowhere to run Oh, by now your vessel is spilling The devil told you you'll surely drown but you've cried out for help from your Savior. And you know you can't give up now because you pray. Out 
they're worried, but he's fast asleep. The winds are so deadly, the water's so deep. Just try to be patient, because soon he'll bring peace. Just one word from his voice, and it all must cease. Because you're great. 